Hey guys, Gino back again with another video. Today's video is about the ones that got away. It's about the mistakes you make when you start investing and you look back on in a year or two and you think, ah. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Before we start, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. It's for entertainment purposes only. And uh, this was a tough video to make. I never really looked back at some of this stuff. So this was a tough video to make and I'm sure you'll all uh, get great pleasure out of my pain as we go through it. So. Without further ado, we're going to get straight into the video. Okay guys, let's let the pain begin. So, uh, I think it goes without saying, back when I was buying a lot of these stocks, it wasn't that much money. So, you know, I'm not trying to make it out like it was these big huge losses that I missed out on. But, you know, at the time it was probably five, six hundred euros in every... Um, in every company so you know, the losses you'll see now as we go through so the losses are real but uh look this is all part of the learning curve they do say that the best investors are coulda shoulda and woulda and um, so look the mistakes are made i've learned obviously from these mistakes and my hope is that you guys can learn from my mistakes and you don't have to you don't have to go through the same thing so the first company we're going to talk about here is nvidia so nvidia our visual computing company and they make a lot of stuff for video games and streaming and things like that they're a huge retail investor company that i'm sure you've all heard of them and um, as you can see at the moment in the pre-market they are up to 802 uh, 802 dollars per share and we first bought this share for 348 dollars so that is about a hundred and thirty percent gain that we missed out on there back back when we back when we were buying these we, we were buying and we were selling when when we had a little bit of profit and we were taking these little bits of profit that's what we thought was the right thing to do we were trading for the most part and that's how we started and we realized very soon that that is not the way to do it especially now looking back think about the profit we took out of nvidia could have been you know 50 euros or whatever and now looking at what looking at what we could have made now with a 130 percent gain that uh hey look we've learned anyway and now we're doing it right but hopefully you guys can see my video here now today and know what not to do so the next company then we go is to dfs which is discover financial services and uh, this is a company i actually quite regret not only for the game but just it was kind of a nice it was a nice one to hold to be in the financial uh, sector but again so it's at 119 dollars now today and we bought that one for 45 dollars so that's a 160 percent gain give or take that we missed out on again we would have sold this for pennies at the time and uh, just taken any bit of profit we could have thinking oh this is a great idea where we've made 20 euro here we've made 50 euro today nah, it's not it's not a good idea so we had that at 45 dollars and 160 percent gain would have been today and i'm sure we'd still be holding it we wouldn't have taken it out but just to show what it would have done in over a year is, is massive, 160%. Um, the next one, this is a company I actually quite like and I don't think it would be too ridiculous to buy in again, but something I think in my ego takes over a little bit thinking of what I had it at, what is that now, would make it hard to buy. The real real, so the real real basically sell used luxury goods and their website is amazing. I was just got up something here like you can buy watches you've michael kors tag here bretling you'll have rolexes uh, burberry all all sorts of brands and they have loads of different things men women jewelry watches kids clothes designer clothes so you have like your louis vuitton clothes and uh, you can buy all these kind of used items for obviously cheaper than they would be so you've got like purses and handbags and duffel bags so it's actually a really really good website really really good company as well uh, they're trading now at $21 and we first bought that and it was actually before we used news trading 212 so we bought it on Revolut for um, for $7 so $7 up to 21 that's a 188% gain and Sam actually bought it before before me he had it around $5 which would have been over 300% gain so that was a mistake and uh, and that that is one I regret quite a lot because that is a good company and it's still quite a low market cap only 1.9 billion um yeah that's one that's one I'm I've been keeping an eye on and I probably will buy into again eventually it's a really really good company they've got a really good website uh, their e-commerce is excellent so that's something you guys could definitely take a look into as well not financial advice just uh, my opinion so the next one is Tesla 
Tesla. Now I have a pretty good position in Tesla already. Uh, I think my average my average buy-in price for Tesla is about three hundred and forty uh, dollars, which is pretty good now. So when I bought it, it was a uh, there was a stock split since what the price I'm about to give you, but I've taken that into consideration just so it's relative to what we have here. So the first time I bought a full share in Tesla, I paid one hundred and fifty-nine dollars for it. That share today would be six hundred and eighty-eight dollars. That is a three hundred and thirty-three percent gain. That makes me that makes me very sad. I, I do I do have a good bit of money in Tesla. Average buy-in price about three hundred forty dollars, which is still pretty good. But but what could have been? Uh, yeah, like I I had bought bought in and out of Tesla multiple times around around that one hundred and fifty nine. 160 170 mark and if I just held them I'd be sitting very very pretty today and um, Tesla is a company I wouldn't even dream of selling now I don't know what I was doing selling back then it just goes to show that you don't you know you you learn with time but hopefully you guys can watch our YouTube videos and learn from us because I think uh, it's, it's important how honest we are about our mistakes as well as about the things we do right and uh, it just shows really the important things so like uh, when it comes to buying and selling your shares just buy company put time into thinking about the company make sure it's a good company buy it and hold it and keep buying it until you have a position you're comfortable with and uh, don't overload on a company I've, I've seen some people on YouTube and they've got you know they've got 12,000 euros in Tesla and then a hundred euros in all these other small companies that you need to have proper diversification Sam is a video that I'll link I'll link here about diversification it's important but it's important to hold. Don't don't get excited over small small jumps in the market and taking your money out and taking your money out. Uh, it's not worth it in the end because you will come back in a year or two's time like I'm doing right now, look back and think. So that's it, guys. That is the pain that uh, that I've had to record for you today. But it's important to see and it's very very important for you guys to realize the difference in long term investing. And that's not even long term. We're talking a couple of years here, uh, a year and two years, but. Imagine these in five years. When I look back in these in five years, I'm sure I'm hopefully now the ones that I've bought now will be doing great. But I could look back that one extra year and think, what if? But there's no point in getting too worked up on it. But it is important to learn from your mistakes or learn from my mistakes. So definitely that's something to keep an eye on. And um, just off topic, something I just said I'd mention. Facebook is a stock that uh, we don't personally own, but I do have members of my family or, uh, who have who have shares in Facebook and they have just hit the 1 trillion market cap yesterday. So it's their first time going over a 1 trillion dollar market cap, which is great news for Facebook. Facebook is an amazing company. And um, I know a lot of people our age think people don't use Facebook anymore. Facebook is huge. Facebook on Instagram, Facebook on WhatsApp. Facebook is a huge, huge company and it's great to see them go over the 1 trillion mark. So guys, that's it for me today thank you so much if you've gotten this far we really really appreciate the support if you please give us a like leave a comment share the video with your friends subscribe whatever it is you want to do please do it follow us on instagram we have a free discord link in the description down below we really really appreciate all the support so far and we do think it's very important not only to talk about the things that we do right not only to talk about the news but talk about the mistakes we made so you guys can learn from our mistakes and uh, hopefully we'll save you guys money in the long term. So we really, really appreciate it. Stay safe and we'll talk to you next time.